I have another meal I want to share with you today. This one really doesn't have a name, but it involves a bacon wrap sausage, some vegetables, and a delicious cheese sauce that goes over all of it. If you're interested, keep watching. Just in case you haven't noticed, I'm wearing my Tilly Outback today because we're in late March and it's starting to warm up. And I say that a little quietly because you never know what's going to happen in the next few days. But today I'm going to take advantage of the nice weather to come out and cook a delicious meal. Now this is something I do regularly at home, but uh, I have not done this in the woods yet. And part of the reason why I wanted to try this meal today is because, as you'll see in a separate video, the stove that I'm going to be using is the Pico Grill 760, the largest of their fire pit style stoves. And it is huge and it's really intended for large fires or multiple pots or pans that can be put on it at the same time. And this is the type of meal that does require that of me. It requires me being able to grill my sausage, boil some vegetables and make a cheese sauce. So I need quite a bit of space to do this. There's a bit of a process. It's not difficult, but it will take a little bit of time to do everything. So once again, what's this all about? Now this is a low carb, a uh, ketogenic meal, at least it can be, the uh, amount of fats and proteins will determine that more than the vegetables. The vegetables that I'm going to be using are really simple. It's just going to be broccoli and cauliflower, two very low carb, very nutritious vegetables that have good fiber and good nutrition. And uh, you know, I know they don't sound all that exciting, but once you put a cheese sauce on them, it's altogether different. And the cheese sauce is just wonderful. So I guess what I need to do now is turn the camera around, take you down to the ground where I have my little kitchen set up and start putting this meal together. All right, so I went ahead and got my starter at fire in the Pico Grill 760 because it will take a little bit of time for that to die down and make usable coals and more controllable heat for the cooking that we need to do. But while that's happening, I can show you the ingredients and talk about the process and we can actually probably get started. So in this baggie yet to be put on my skewer, and you'll see that of course, is my bacon wrapped sausage. And here's the skewer that I'll be putting it on. And uh, that's gonna be wonderful. How can you beat that, right? A bacon wrapped sausage. Brand new little pot. I picked it up second hand, but I haven't used it yet. This is the smallest of the uh, stowaway pots from MSR. It's uh, a 500 mil pot, which is just big enough for what I'm gonna be doing. I can lock it down a little. And in this, I'm going to be making my cheese sauce, but I have to be careful with the heat. So in what makes the cheese sauce is three, well, four ingredients, in fact, maybe five if you include the, the salt or any spices. But I have some uh, heavy cream right here, and I'm going to put the amounts in the video description. Actually, I can give them to you, and I'll, but I'll put the, uh, the uh, recipe for the heavy cream in the video description because I have the macros for that, and I'll be able to put that there as well. So right, actually, I've got a quarter cup of heavy cream in this little container because it's easier to pack together. I have two things, which is two tablespoons of butter and a quarter cup of cream cheese. And finally, here I have a half cup of grated cheddar cheese. So those are the ingredients. Man, can you say cheese? There's a lot of uh, fat and protein in this portion of it. So the process is to start is to pour my heavy cream into the pot, leave that drain a little bit, put the butter in, get it in there, yeah. I have to melt those two together first. I mean, this is how easy it is, right? I melt the butter and the cream together, mixing as I go with my spoon. Mm, tastes good. Then I put the cream cheese and the cheddar in and uh, take my time with it and just let it come together. And that's my cheese sauce. I will be putting in a little bit of salt in a moment. And if you want, you can put any spices in, like if you want to put in some chili peppers or anything else just to give it some heat, which I think I'll do. I'll put a little bit of something in there just to give it a little bit of heat. But otherwise, that's the entire process. So I'll get this over the fire once it's died down some, 
and I'll start the process. Now, the reason I'm doing this first is because once the cheese sauce is done, I can put it aside and reheat it just before I go to put it on top of my vegetables. But once it's done, I'll put it aside. Then I can put my broccoli and cauliflower on. Well, you put the cauliflower in first, you cook the cauliflower, you put the broccoli in. It only takes a minute for the broccoli to cook. And at the same time, while that's happening, I'll be able to do my sausage. All right, so I'll bring it back as I start to do some cooking over the fire. So you can see my fire is dying back a little bit, which is really quite nice. Uh, man, there's some heat there though. I'm gonna have to be careful managing what I cook. So I'm going to use the grill. First, the gloves go on. I'm going to use the grill to suspend my small pot over just so I don't have any unintentional spills into the fire. Reach over and get it. Now, it's in a little bit too much direct heat right now, but if I move it on and off and keep things inside of the pot moving, I shouldn't have any scorching taking place. So there, there's really no way around this. This just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, and you'll find it's worthwhile to do this. My butter is starting to melt into the cream. Okay, I think I'm going to pull it back from the heat some, though. Cooking over a fire, that's where experience comes in. I'm going to say skill, but it's really just experience. If you have a, a learning experience where things burn, just don't do that again next time. And the more you do it, the easier it gets. Man, that is hot. I can feel that right through the gloves. But the butter is melting. May have to move the grill to the other side away from the flame. And that's what's nice is I can do that, can't I? All right, butter is melting nicely. Okay, so I need to keep this moving. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'll be adding the rest of the ingredients in as I go, but I'll, I'll make sure that you see each of them going in. In fact, I'm just about ready. Man, how fast did that take? You know what, I think I am ready to get the other stuff in there. I don't want to sit with it on there for very long. Let's throw the cheddar cheese in. Get in there. All right, so cheddar cheese is in. And this big block of cream cheese, it doesn't look like it will melt, but it will, once it gets going, it starts to melt very quickly. Again, keeping everything moving. But I am going to have to put my gloves back on. Okay, so once again, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. So I think I'll turn the camera off, work on this, and then I'll show you the cream sauce once it's ready to come off of the fire. It is the cream cheese that takes the longest to melt. Uh, it just requires some patience. You can see my fires died down considerably. There's still quite a bit of open flame and a whole lot of great cooking coals in there. I have, everything is pretty much melted, but some of the cream cheese is still in tiny little bits in there. That'll, that will melt. If I had had a whisk, a whisk would be ideal. And yes, I could have made one out here in the woods, but not as quickly as I would need to, to have this meal ready. So using a spoon, had I planned a little bit better, I would have brought a whisk. Okay, let me just pull that off the heat for a second because I have not added my spices that I want to add here. So it's going to be salt, garlic, and some Tex-Mex. So Tex-Mex is in my hand first. Uh, maybe half a teaspoon. Salt will be less. I don't need much salt here. Quarter teaspoon garlic. I don't think you can put too much garlic in, can you? I've got about half a teaspoon. Get my glove back on before everything starts to stick to the bottom. I'm still good. Hoping you can see how creamy this is. There's a lot in the amounts I gave you. There is a lot. It's much more than I'll probably use for this meal, but I have a container I can take it home with.
Yeah, I think that's ready. Now, if I just keep at it and leave the lid off, it'll continue to thicken. That's fine the way it is. Once the vegetables are cooked and the sausages cook, I may put this back on. Well, I will put it back on to heat it, but I may just thicken it up a little bit. See some direct flame there. Not that I'm trying to get too much direct flame. All right, cheese sauce is ready. I'm going to throw the cover on and we'll take it off of the fire and I'll move on to the next step. All right, so I'm just trying to judge where I want to put the grate to put the pot of water on. And I think what I'll be doing is moving it directly over the flame. And that's where if you want something to boil. So you can see the size of the, that's the Pathfinder bush pot. The stove dwarfs it, so there's lots of room for doing this. I did add a couple of small sticks. There are still lots of coals. Yeah, everything's looking good. So I am going to wait for the water to come to a boil before I put my broccoli or my cauliflower in first. But I can get started with my sausage. And I'll just keep it away from the open flame. Keep an eye on it and keep clipping the sausage as I need to. I think what I'll do is as more coals develop, I can push a little bit either down towards that end or just flip the grill for this end. It's actually more heat than I want for the sausage. There, I'll just move it back here a little bit. There's no rush. The sausage will take some time. I could put it right on the grill and I may do that. I can you know, just push it off of the end of the skewer onto the grill. The only problem is, is I didn't bring any tongs. So it'd be a lot easier if I could just leave it. Actually, no reason why not. Put it right on the grill while it's still on the tongs then, or still on the uh, skewers and that way I don't have to worry about picking it up and turning it over. So there's not a lot to see here until my water comes to a boil and by that time the sausage should be well on its way and then it's just a matter of finishing off the vegetables and we'll be ready to eat. All right a little bit of time a little bit of fire management and my water is to a boil hard rolling boil put the lid down i have the sausage down at this end now you can see it's cooking nicely but it's a matter of like i said moving things around to get the heat where you want it start throwing in my cauliflower pieces separate from my broccoli i mean you cook it all the same time it's all going to be cooked the only thing is broccoli cooks so quickly that It'll be mush if you wait until the cauliflower is done. So I just have to wait a couple minutes after that comes back to a boil. The cauliflower will be ready. I'll add the broccoli. And then it's just a matter of draining off the vegetables, reheating my cheese sauce a little bit, and my dinner will be ready. Look at that sausage. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Give it a flip over. Oh, needs to be on this side for now. Cooking wonderfully. That's the nice thing about having all this space to work with here. All right, I'll bring it back. I think when we are just about to a red, uh, assemble the finished meal. So this is something I started doing just so I can give you a better look at what the meal is all about before I sit down and have to get up and down and up and down. So you can see the broccoli, the cauliflower, the cheese sauce all nicely done and of course the bacon wrapped sausage. So now what I'll do is I'll just move over to my sitting position and we'll do the taste test. All right we are ready for the taste test. Where are my utensils? Here we go. Oh by the way I just want to point this out. The spoon, the knife and the fork is a Canadian military mess kit. Comes in this nice little digicamel pouch. Knife, fork, and of course you saw the spoon. These were gifts from my cousin Laura, who is a Canadian military veteran. I think two tours overseas, if I'm not, not mistaken. So thank you, Laura, for passing these on to me. All right, where do we start? Let's start with a piece of the cauliflower dipped in cheese, or not dipped, covered in cheese. Yes. That was exactly what I was looking for. Yes. Piece of the broccoli. Okay. The cheese sauce, without anything added to it, is obviously going to be good. All that cheese, how can it help be good? 
but I added garlic, a little bit of salt, and some Tex-Mex spices. You can add whatever you want. You can leave whatever you want out. Pepper, you know, anything you want. It just took the cheese sauce to the next level. And uh, oh, one more bite, and then I'll do the sausage. Mmm. I couldn't have done better with this at home. And I've made this quite a few times. Okay. Sausage. What can you say about a bacon wrapped sausage? It's not a spicy sausage, it's not a sweet, it's not a hot and peppery, it's not a garlicky. It's just a plain sausage wrapped in bacon. What else do you have to do to make a sausage taste better? Then add some bacon. I am living good today. Woo! I'm having fun with this cooking in the wood stuff, you know. I get to make some wonderful meals test out some stoves that have been gifted to me by some very generous people and uh, share it all with you. How does life get any better than that? Okay, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this meal before it gets cold. I mean, you can still see it's a warm day. It's clouded over, but it's still a nice warm day, spring day. And you can see the smoke. My fire has died down to just smoke now. I have to add a little bit of wood if I want any coffee, so I'll have to do that in a few minutes' time. Okay, if you have any questions or any comments about the meal that I've cooked, then uh, please put them in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for future meals, please put those in the comment section below. As I mentioned, I'll be putting the recipe for this cheese sauce in the video description. What else is there? All right, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.